Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and on this channel I teach cake artists how to create modern cake designs and lifelike flowers using wafer paper. A few weeks ago I posted a tutorial how to assemble wafer paper flowers on a cake. And today in this video I wanted to answer your question about what are the ways to protect your wires and make sure that your flower arrangement or or flowers or any decorations are completely food safe. So let's begin. First and probably the most common way to do that is to use coffee stirrers or these thin tiny mini straws. And for example, I have these butterflies and it's on a wire and my wire is taped with white floral tape. So now what I need to do is I need to bend my wire to make sure it's going to sit very snug in my coffee stores. So now it's not coming off. And I know that my wire and somewhere right here. So all I need to do is I need to cut my straw just a little bit below my wire. So it's a little bit easier to insert into my cake. You can see I have my straw cut it on an angle. And then I'm going to insert this straw below the surface and you're going to see only this wafer paper butterfly. If you have a larger arrangement, for example, you want to put a few flowers together, you can use a thicker straw like this. And for me personally, I prefer to use bright colors like this bright blue color or bright pink because when your customer is going to cut your cake, this is going to be very obvious that you have something and it needs to be removed. But I personally do not like to use a plastic straw just because it's single use and it's a lot of plastic waste. And what I found is, and one of my favorite ways to do this is to use this product. It's called Safety Seal and it is a food safe barrier or food safe wax. It looks like this and all you need to do is put it in a microwave. It says for one minute and 30 seconds until it's melted. And then what you need to do is you need to take your flowers. For example, I'm going to arrange together these beautiful Icelandic poppies. These are from my Weaver Paper Academy and I wanted to put them on a cake together like one by one. So I have my two wires here and I'm going to take uh, floral tape. This is in light green color. Stretch it and tape both my stems together. And to assemble my flower together, you can see I'm covering my stem at the bottom. So no, no wire is going to leak anything into our cake. And now that my safety seal mixture completely liquid, I'm going to insert my wire with my tape into this wax mixture. And when it dries, you can see it creates this wax seal and it is absolutely food safe and you can insert this into a cake. When it dries, it becomes this white opaque color. And usually I wait for a second until it's dry because it's solid at room temperature. And then I put it in my safety seal mixture again. So, and then I add another layer and put it into my safety seal mixture again, like this. So I hope you're excited as I am because now you can tell that I have this wax. It's already, yeah, it's already dry and it's not going to crack. I can safely insert this arrangement into a cake like this and not to worry about my wire or any non-edible parts touching my cake. And I have this bottle of a safety seal mixture wax for a few years already. And I've been using this for all of my arrangement and I'm still not even halfway through. So it's a great thing to have, but I know it's not easy to get. And I look it up online and a lot of viewers told me that it's sold out. And the other option you can do is you can use like regular candy melts. I'm using mine in white and I just melted mine in the microwave until this semi-liquid, almost like a paste 
consistency because this is not a real chocolate it's a compound chocolate it's relatively flexible and it's not going to break and to show you how to use it i'm going to take my para tulip flower this is also the fur paper flower but my stem is relatively thick so what i'm going to do is i'm going again take a piece of floral tape and cover the bottom part of my stem the same as we did for our Icelandic poppies. So I wanted to make sure that nothing is going to be touching my cake. You can see my stem is secured. And where I wanted to insert this into a cake, what part I wanted to insert, I'm going to cover this with the melted chocolate. Now my flower stem is covered with candy melts and I set it aside for about 10 minutes so now it's completely solid and this could be another great option to protect your wires, to protect your flowers from touching your edible materials or to, from touching your cake. Another option to make your flowers food safe, especially if you're using something like a large flower and you need to make sure that it's going to be stable on your cake. Sometimes I use these bamboo skewers or you can even use a toothpick if your flower is smaller or your arrangement is lighter than this one. So what you need to do is simply take your bamboo skewer and tape it to your stem. I'm going to use white floral tape and tape my bamboo skewer to my flower stem like this. And now I can safely put my flower into my cake and this bamboo skewer is strong enough and I can put my flower on an angle. It gives me enough strength compared to using a, a wire and I don't need to cover because bamboo skewers most of the time they are safe to put into your cake or it's safe when they are touching your food so that's another option. However, my favorite way and the most used way how I arrange my flowers on a cake is I use a cake dummy. Because a cake dummy, you don't need to protect your flowers, you don't need to cover your wires. And especially if you are going to have a large arrangement on the side, it's easy to add another tier of a cake as a cake dummy. So for example, on this cake, a top two tiers and the bottom tier is a real cake or could be a real cake and a third tier where my arrangement is going to go is a cake dummy and from the side you cannot tell the difference but for me it gives me so much creative freedom and just uh, understanding how to put my flowers without any worry about breaking my cake or protecting my wires and making it food safe. So like, for example, for this large David Austin rose, I can simply use an owl, po poke a hole into my fondant covered cake and insert my branches. I use eucalyptus, this, and I use this David Austin rose and I can insert them onto a cake because sometimes flowers could be heavy and you might run into a risk your flowers falling off your cake if you're going to use a real cake for a large arrangement. And now you know, we talk about different ways you can protect your flowers and flower arrangement and make it food safe when you're going to put it on a cake. So I showed you a few different ways. First is to use a plastic straw or a bubble tea straw if you're making a larger arrangement. Second way is to use my favorite product, a safety seal, which is a food safe wax. Or another option, if you cannot get the safety seal, you can use candy melts or melted chocolate. Another option is to use a bamboo skewer or wooden toothpick, something to extend the stem of your flower to put it on a cake. And of course, I told you my secret, I told you my favorite way is to use a cake dummy. I don't think that any clients would complain if their cake is going to be a little bit taller than maybe 
maybe they expect it. But for me personally, it gives me peace of mind. It makes my life so much easier. First of all, I can assemble flowers prior to delivering the cake and I don't need to worry about putting this in the fridge. And just in general, I don't need to worry about my flowers being too heavy on a cake. So it is much easier. I hope you like this tutorial and find it helpful. If you liked it, give me a like and share with your friend and I'll see you in the next video on this channel. My name is Anastashkina. Bye-bye!